Sorry, I didn't see you there. So I have to apologize. I don't have much of a real video this week. I'm working on the In the Style of Us video, but with all the moving and packing and painting and unpacking and repainting, it's just hasn't come together this week. But in the meantime, here's a freakish fact for you. Freakish facts. This is an unripe fig. And this is a fig newton. Figs don't produce flowers like we think of flowers. The flowers are basically inside the unripe fruit. So there's this little opening at the bottom. Figs are pollinated by tiny wasps that crawl inside the fig to lay eggs and inadvertently pollinate the fruit while they lay the eggs. And once pollinated, the fruit will ripen and grow. However, this opening is protected by overlapping scales that prevent the wasp from being able to leave the fruit once it's inside. Not only that, but the opening is so small, the wasps often lose their antennae and their wings trying to get in. So even if they were able to somehow escape, they'd die anyway. It's, it's basically a wasp death trap. Over time, as the fig ripens, the dead wasp body will be digested by an enzyme within the fruit and it will ultimately become part of the final fruit. Every ripe fig contains at least one dead wasp. So the reason why there aren't wasp eggs in the figs that we eat is basically evolutionary biology. The wasps, the fig wasps, and the figs co-evolve together. The type of wasp that fig growers use to pollinate the figs that we eat is not the type of wasp that co-evolved along with that fig. Basically, the, the styles of the flowers are too long for the wasp's ovipositor, what it uses to lay the eggs, so it can't actually lay any eggs. The wasp will move from flower to flower within the fig, inadvertently pollinating all the flowers, trying desperately to lay its eggs before it dies of exhaustion. So the next time you eat a delicious fig, or fig newton, just ponder this thought. You're also eating pre-digested dead wasp juice. Wasp death trap. Yummy. Freakish facts.